it's that time of the day. What is going on everybody? I hope you guys are having another good day. Uh, today is Tuesday, got off work, got a little extra time before the sun sets. I can tell time's changing because now when I get off work, I usually have about an hour and a half-ish. Before it was like 45, 55 minutes max. So we're good, we are good. Uh, as you can tell, and if you can't tell from the title, and if you can't tell from the intro, we are changing the oil today. Um, I'm extremely excited. I, changing the oil is like one of those things where it's just like it's so satisfying. I don't know what's more satisfying, seeing the old oil drain out or seeing the new oil go in. But either way, I get excited every time I do an oil change. And as you guys know, always, I had to keep, have you guys a part of this. So without further ado, we're going to be doing an oil change today. But before I can announce that, we have uh, some business we need, to, we need to take care of on the channel. Now, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you might already know. But guess what? We have an official P.O. Box for the channel. That's right. Uh, I went ahead today set up a, a P.O. Box just for the channel, just for you guys and for me. Um, a lot of you have been messaging me asking me if I have one. Uh, and for obvious reasons, you, you would know why I don't want to. I would give my own personal address out there. But anyways, we have a P.O. Box set up now. So uh, I'm going to have uh, uh, the P.O. Box address will be down below in every video so if you ever forget it you can just click the description box and it'll drop down and you'll see the P.O. box for the address uh, let me actually let me get the paper real quick alright you guys I'm gonna put it on the screen and it'll be down below but if you want the P.O. box you can just make it out to Cameron Piggott P.O. box 4352 Jacksonville North Carolina 28540 alright that is the P.O. box address um, like I said, I'll have it in the video description. I'll have it in somewhere here on the screen. Uh, so you guys can definitely send that out, okay? But I just wanted to announce that. That is, uh, I think that's going to be cool. You guys can send me anything. Fan mail, uh, thank you letters, uh, whatever you want to send, you send it. I'm not going to tell you what to send. I'm not going to put a size limit on it, nothing. If you want to send something, by all means, you'll, you'll bless me. You'll, you'll make my day. I'm sure it'll make your day and uh, we'll, we'll uh, start coordinating we'll start doing uh, unboxings on the channel uh, maybe every Friday night we'll do a live video stream which I actually been wanting to do for a while we'll do a live video stream me talking about uh, our un uh, opening all the packages we got from the viewers okay so not gonna bore you guys with that just had to put it out there now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bust out this oil chain so as you can tell from the intro of the video I got went ahead and I have some AMS oil uh, synthetic 15W40 premium heavy-duty diesel marine oil okay now if you watch my last oil change video back in last June which I know a lot of you probably haven't because we have a ton of new subscribers since then uh, I run AMS oil signature series uh, synthetic 5W40 currently now I know you're saying why would you go to heavier weight oil in this winter you know it's kind of bipolar opposite yes you're right but at the same time signature series oil is more designed for vehicles 2007 and newer with emissions still installed as you guys know uh, I do not you know randomly the emissions on this truck for race purpose only uh, out of country it just randomly came off I don't know why or how but anyways uh, yeah so this what's the difference between this and signature series okay this one has it's gonna have your detergent additives in here it's gonna have suit control from taking in the EGR and the blow off blow by to protect against uh, but the biggest thing in this is it has a higher anti-wear additive um, once again Adrian you know if I'm wrong or if I'm not saying it correctly please feel free to comment below and correct me but uh, yeah this is gonna have a higher zinc con zinc concentrate which means more protection okay you want zinc in your diesel engines uh, that is one of the reasons why older engines would run for so long because of the high zinc content and if you talk to some of the old school you know race car race car dudes ask them what oil they run they're not running you know whatever weird oil they're running diesel oil back in the day because diesel oil has such a high zinc content and it was so good for anti-wear protection um, it was ridiculous obviously with new regulations and you know things coming into effect the standard on that has dipped down quite a bit but with AMSO you still can get that old-school good quality diesel oil but with new technology in it uh, and like I said I love running this stuff because AMSO oil because when I run this it quiets down my lifters everything is just it, it just it starts up easy it doesn't hesitate I mean I did a 17 degree cold start the other day my truck sat for two days and she fired right up no stickiness oil pressure is good I've never had a problem with this oil and it doesn't burn off as fast as other oils do so if I run Rot Rotella I might have to add like a quarter of a quart of oil before the oil change is due 
um, with this I don't have to do that uh, usually when I check my oil which is like maybe every three three to four weeks it stays the same level uh, on top of that I get extended drain intervals with this that is the number one key factor of course with testing now if you guys know last year I did an oil analysis on the Cummings and we inspected the oil because a lot of you were knocking off the uh, CCV delete saying that it's going to damage your engine you're going to have high soot levels we sent the oil off tested it came back and we had good results on it everything was good I tested it at 7500 miles they said continue for another 7500 miles and retest so we are going to take a piece of the sample we drained today we're going to take and uh, send that off as well I don't have the kit with me now so I'm just going to put it in, a, in an empty bottle but when I ordered the kit I'm gonna pour it in there and then send it off to them. So we're gonna do another oil test and we're gonna compare all the results from the previous oil sample with this current oil in the truck to the uh, oil now. So when I did when I did the video, I had roughly about 75, almost 8,000 miles on the engine or on the oil. Uh, now I'm, I'm right about 11,000, uh, some change. I think it's like a, I think I'm at like 11, almost 12,000 miles. Uh, since I've done the oil in this truck, I changed the oil in this truck last June. It is now January. So we are going to put the money to the test. We're going to see if Amsoil is really all about it or if they're just bluffing it. And we're going to do an oil, oil analysis on it and we're going to see what comes of it, okay? Now, you guys, uh, one thing you do need to know is that if you add any additives to your oil, when you go to send off your oil analysis, they will be able to pick up on any type of additives that have been added, okay? Because what happens is when you fill out the form, you have to tell them what oil you're running, what weight, what brand. After that, they know, they, they the engineers, they know what it is. So if you add like the Lucas oil stabilizer, maybe you pour some sea foam in your oil, uh, they will be able to pick up on that. So make sure you tell them that stuff when you send off the analysis, okay? I'm done yapping. We're gonna do this. Uh, you guys have seen oil change videos, right? So I'm not gonna bore you being like, here's the oil cap, here's the drain. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod. We're gonna bust this oil change out and I'm gonna get back with y'all. One last thing, one thing I do recommend, and this is how I do my oil change personal, personally, and this is the fastest way, is I take out this wheel well cover and it gives me instant access to my oil filter right there. I put a wrench on it, spin her off, she's free, okay? Oh man. Oh lordy, check all that goodness out. Yeah, I spray painted the downpipe wrap. Oh yeah, Ooh, look at that turf ski up there. Yeah, man. you guys so draining the oil still I already put the new oil filter on but I wasn't gonna plug it but there's a steady bit of oil still coming out so I'm probably gonna let this drain I don't know 15 20 more minutes uh, I know you can't get every single piece of old every drip of old oil out but uh, nonetheless I mean you know that's it's coming out pretty steady right there so a good chunk uh, she definitely got filled up so and this is the old filter uh, Amsoil says it's good for up to 25,000 mile change intervals. So, of course, obviously that's with like you know uh, oil analysis and whatnot. So, we're gonna let this drain and then we're gonna get back to the time. Just finished the oil change. Check me out. Yeah, yeah. So you guys know uh, it's kind of like a sin if you do an oil change and don't start your vehicle after doing it. So I'm just kidding. I just made it up. That's not true. Please don't. Please don't think I'm crazy. But we are going to uh, go ahead and crank her up because it wouldn't be a good video without hearing this uh, nice six seven coming startup. All right, so.
And as always, you always want to check to make sure you have no leaks anywhere, okay? And we're good. Y'all ain't know it can do that, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys. Operation uh, oil change in the six seven Cummins is done. Uh, it went extremely well, so could not be happy. So now that we got that wrapped up, look at that. It's like a damn one of the Star Troopers or whatever they call it. So we got the oil change done. Uh, clean oil. So we're gonna same deal. Gonna run it. 7,500 miles, do an oil analysis, see what they say, and then from there, just keep going and going and going. Um, yeah, I'm extremely happy, everything, the way the channel's been going, the way the bill's been going. Uh, 2019, I feel like we st we kicked it with a hard foot, uh, kicked the door down with a hard foot, you know, and we're coming in swinging, and we're, it's only gonna get better. <laughs> it's only gonna get better. I'm so excited, man. You guys don't know, I have, I like, I'm in bed at night just thinking of all the stuff I want to do uh, for the channel, for the build, other builds, just, it's, it's, it's crazy, man, it's mind-boggling, you know, we upgrading cameras, just upgrading the channel, I'm still on my old camera, by the way, uh, I just have so much stuff, man, and it's awesome, we just got the P.O. Box open today, I'm extremely excited about that, so, once again, the P.O. Box is going to be down below because I do not remember it yet, <laughs> but I will, eventually. Um, it'll always be in the description box, so put that out there again. Um, and I, I, I usually mention this, uh, if, anytime I'm dealing with my lubricants, uh, I get all my products through Amsoil dealers, uh, Adrian, he's an awesome guy, he's been, I've been dealing with him in terms of Amsoil products, I'm going on a year now, uh, we have a great relationship, and I tell you, anytime I need it, he can, he can get it to me, and he can get it to me quick. Um, one of the best things I think about Amsoil is the Premier program where pretty much you pay like I think it's 25 bucks a year or it might be two options but you pay 25 bucks a year you get discounts on all you get dealer costs on Amazon products which saves you up to 25 percent dollars uh, 25 percent dollars to up to 25 percent you know what I'm saying check the man out his contact info is down below he can get you some good stuff in your truck man I mean I'm telling you two things that sells me on Amazon one the oil analysis Doing the oil analysis really, really opened my eyes, and it really, it really showed me that this product is, it, it, it's no shit. They're, they're not fucking around. Two, it no crap quiet down my lifters. Uh, my engine got a lot quieter, not a lot, but it, it got quieter running the AMS oil, and my fuel economy did go up as well. I'll probably go back to maybe a thinner weight in the summer. I don't know yet. I gotta talk to Adrian. Anytime I'm dealing with my oils and stuff, I talk to him all the time. He always recommends me uh, some good advice. So, yeah, you know. So we got a lot. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, please, you do not want to fall asleep on the channel this year because I'm telling you, 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 if you sit on it for a month, you are going to miss out so much. Uh, real quick, this weekend, head studs coming to the truck. That's right. Hopefully. So, uh, you know, this is a good day. It's a good day to be part of the family. Uh, we're also looking at getting into the uh, sticker game again. I actually, this time though, I'm thinking about I'm looking into getting my own sticker machine and getting my own T-shirt making machine. Uh, and you know, me and my wife are kind of like how how uh, uh, fuck Monster. I can't think. Kind of like how uh, Ram Beast Project does it. I know uh, the dude over with uh, I can't think of his Duramax channel, but he puts his wife to work all the time. So yeah, you know what I'm saying though. But we got a lot of stuff, man. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys. You mean so much to me. You really do. You guys drive me on this, and I'm extremely grateful for it. Uh, thank you so much. So until next time, take it easy. Be safe. Peace out. We almost forgot to close the hood.